All right, everybody. Mr. Shaw asked me to put together a video for everybody, um, kind of how to create your Disney account, and then go ahead and set up your Fast Passes, which is going to come from the tickets that Mr. Shaw will be supplying to you guys. Now, uh, just some information because I called on it today. Because you guys are staying off property, you have to set your fast passes up one day at a time because Disney doesn't know that you're staying where you're staying and they allow you to do 30 days out for each day you're in the park. So for instance, for your first day in the park, which would be March 25th, when you go to Animal Kingdom and Hollywood Studios that day, you are gonna be able to make your fast passes starting at 7 a.m. on Friday, March, I'm sorry, starting at 7 a.m. Friday, February 23rd. So um, this coming Friday, February 23rd at 7 a.m., you'll be able to make them for your first day, March 25th. And then for your second day in the park, which is Epcot on the 26th, you can make them at 7 a.m. Saturday, February 24th. And then for your third day in the park, which is your marching day, right? That's the Magic Kingdom day. You can make them uh, this coming Sunday, February 25th at 7 a.m. Make sure you guys are trying to get up early to make those because everybody else that's 30 days out is doing the same thing. So just a little information there. So what we're going to do is set up your, um, I'm going to show you an example. We're going to use um, Nathan Miller uh, gave us some information to create his account. So we're going to create his Disney account so you can see how that's done. So have that done before Friday. Use this video right when you get out of the video, create your Disney account, download the app which we'll talk about here in a minute and get all that stuff set up so you're ready for Friday. And then I'll be in Friday to kind of answer any questions that anybody has for a few minutes for both classes. Anything else I'm missing right there? Okay, cool. So I'm gonna share my screen and show you guys um, how to go ahead and do this. But before I do that, let me go ahead and share the screen. So tell me you guys should be able to see this. All right. So what you guys are going to do is you're going to go to disneyworld.disney.go.com. Okay, so when you do that, it's disneyworld.disney.go.com, which you should be able to see up here at the top. When you go to that page, you're going to come up to basically um, a place where you're going to create your account. So if I went back one more page. So this is what happens when you go to disneyworld.disney.go go.com you're going to click right here you're going to click on sign in or create account which is obviously if you create your account you're going to sign in if you haven't you're going to click down here and click on create account and at this point it's going to want you to fill in your email address and set up a password you're going to go ahead and pick your name and your birth date and your address and then you're going to answer a couple of security questions which i'm going to do in the background here because i don't want to share nathan's information so I'm going to stop sharing this for a brief second. I'll bring back the screen. But you're going to want to go ahead and set up all this information. Email, name, birthday, uh, address, and answer a couple of security questions to create your Disney account. That's what we did. So I'm going to stop sharing just for a brief second. I'm going to fill this out. And I'm using Nathan. So thank you, Nathan, for doing this. So we'll go ahead and talk to your friends on doing this. Um. Hi everyone. <laughs> uh, just a heads up, we have 32 days until we get Um, guys, if you should probably start talking with your group. I know you guys probably don't have your groups yet, but Shaw will probably give you those in the next couple days. Um, but when you do get your groups, you probably need to start talking about what fast passes you want to do in each part. Now, if you go on the Disney account, once you make your Disney account, you can go on the map, and it'll tell you, like, explanations of what each ride are. So if you don't like roller coasters, or you don't like going upside down, it'll tell you exactly what happens in that ride, what to avoid, what, you know, what's really fun. But honestly, I've been there so many times, everything is fun. And guys, I can't emphasize enough, 7 a.m. each day, this, this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, the three days you've got to make them for your three days, 30 days out. Try to get up early because everybody else who doesn't have uh, resort reservations at Disney is in that 30-day window that you guys are too. So they're going to get up early too to try to get the good rides. And the good rides are gone pretty quick. Yeah, like anybody who wants to ride Flight of Passage, uh, they're gone already. So unless you can work out a miracle or something, uh, 
I couldn't get them for myself, so. But guys, you also probably need to start looking, like I know you guys have time, but there's also a menu on the online too that you can look at restaurants in each park too. You should probably look at what restaurants you want to start looking at and everything. Um, Cause that's also going to be very helpful too. Um, also, just a heads up, the very first day we're in two parks. We're in Animal Kingdom for the first half of the day and we're in Hollywood Studios for the second half of the day. So when you make your fast passes for the very first day, you need to decide if you want maybe one in this park and two in another, or if you want zero in this park and all three in one park, or if you want, you know, whatever you want, you have to figure out what you want to do. Whereas the second and third days we're in Disney, it's all at the same park, so you don't have to worry about anything. But uh, like I said, you guys need to start working on what fast passes you want and everything. So that'll help you for that. All right. I think I've, I've done created Nathan's account, so I'm going to share my screen again here. And yes, so let me share my screen again. All right, so as you can see, um, let me just move this down a little bit. As you can see, you got Nathan's uh, name right here. Welcome, Nathan. So his account has been created. So thank you, Nathan, for allowing us to use you as a guinea pig. Um, what, I, what you want to do now that you created it is under the My Disney Experience tab here on the header bar, that's where all your personal information is. You guys can go in and customize it and you get an opportunity by clicking on My Profile. And as you can see, you know, Nathan's in there and you can change, you can pick your character for yourself. And I'd advise doing that. Some of you guys are going to link your accounts. You may have the same characters. It kind of allows you to easily click between them. So what do you think Nathan wants to do right now? I'm going to pick a Star Wars character. Nathan, for right now, you're going to be Darth Vader. So you can go ahead and click on Done. This is under the My Profile, under the My Disney. So now Nathan is Darth Vader. Um, what you guys are going to want to do first, after you create your account, go ahead and customize your character. You're going to want to go into the My Disney Experience tab here on the upper right corner. And for those of you that only want to do from the smartphone right now, look at the friend's computer in the laptop. Read all this first on the laptop. You go ahead and use your smartphone and the app later on. But for right now, create everything on the computer. It's a lot easier. You're going to go to My Disney Experience app or My Disney Experience tab and then go down to My Reservations and Tickets. So when we pull Nathan's profile up here, it's basically going to be empty. He's created his profile. But what you're going to want to do is to go down to Tickets and Passes right here and then click on Link Tickets. Okay, now after you create um, your profile and you do this and you link your ticket number, your ticket now is going to be under your profile. So I am going to switch to my profile now because I want to show you guys a completed profile. Actually, I'm going to switch to Julia's. Um, I'm going to switch to Julia's where you can see all this done. Just bear with me one second. And I am going to log into Julia's account so you can see where her ticket has been matched. Okay. So let me share the screen again. Okay, I'm in Julia's account now. So when we go under my reservations and tickets. You are going to see that I went ahead and matched her ticket. And it's now under the tickets and passes. And don't mind the platinum passes. Julie is also a pass holder. So I'm going to keep the passes. I already want to match the ticket that the hotel gave us. This is her three day ticket right here. You can see. This is what you guys are going to show too. You have to do this before you can set your fast passes up. Don't sign your ticket to your profile for the number that Mr. Shaw gives you. Then you guys can't set up fast passes because Disney says we'd love to give you a fast pass, but you've got no tickets in the system. So now that that's in there, Julia can go ahead and set fast passes up. And it's really that simple. Um, let me, because you guys aren't in the 30 day window yet, let me go into my profile, which is right here. 
because I do have a ticket in the system that's longer. The reason I can't use Julia's right now is they're not technically at Friday, February 23rd yet. But we are with mine. So I'm just going to use my fast pass or my use the pass as an example. So I'm logging in. And sometimes our system's a little slow. And I am going to go to my reservations and tickets, and it's coming up right now. Okay, so once the screen comes back up, you go to My Disney Experience. And remember, this is after you've created your profile, you've linked your ticket to your, your, your name, and you can go under the My Disney Experience and click on FastPass Plus. Now, FastPass Plus allows you to go to help to go ahead and set up your Fast Passes. It's going to show everything you have previously set up. It's going to show a few things for me in there. But you guys are going to have nothing in there. You can see i got some things already set up for our trip because we're going as well. And I've already set mine up for my family. But you can click on this blue Add Fast Pass Plus button up here. And what it does is it gives you the ability to see who's in your party. Now, you guys are going to be basically by yourself. Um, Julia will probably show you guys the next couple of days in class for those of you that come up to her your account after you guys have created your account for your groups go up to julia and she will show you guys how to do the family and friends thing and guys it's really helpful if you assign one person as the main person and assign your tickets together because then that one person can make all the fast passes for you right. so that you don't have to individually make the passes at the same time so you let's say i made a fast pass for 10 30 and Matthew Leffler made one for, she made one five seconds later, but the time wasn't there and it was 11 30. So the times don't match up. So make sure that you have one person controlling the fast passes so you all get them at the same time. Yeah, yeah. So what I would do is, like I said, I would use this video, create your profile right now, assign your tickets so you're ready to go, and then get with Julia in class and she'll show you how to create um, family and friends requests so all of you guys are under like. Can see each other like as you can see right now i can see my whole family because we, we're all linked together so that allows you like julie said to create fast passes for a group of people versus all you guys doing them one at a time and that becomes a pain in the butt so let's just say i wanted to make a new fast pass for me and my wife and my son taylor i'm picking three people and i click on next and let's just say i wanted to make them you know I'll pick a day in February. Let's say I wanted to make them for March 8th. I'm just picking a day. You guys are obviously going to be concentrating on the 25th, 26th, and 27th of March. But I'm just picking a day. This will be the same for you guys. I'm going to pick March 8th. And then the system is going to ask me, okay. And no, it's spinning because it wants to see if I have a ticket in the system. And we do. We have season passes. Now it's going to ask you which park to pick. You guys are going to go to Animal Kingdom your first day. So Animal Kingdom and Hollywood. Right, but you're only going to be able to pick Animal Kingdom because that's the park you're going to first. The system allows you to have three fast passes per day um, to start out with. And because you guys want to maximize your time in Animal Kingdom, you're going to pick all three in Animal Kingdom. And then after you use those, you can set up one at a time in the app, which Julia can show you guys in class as well. So I'm going to pick Animal Kingdom because that's the first day that you guys are going to. Just pretend that I picked March 25th. And then it asks me, okay, when do I want to make them? in the morning, afternoon, evening, or you can select a time. I would, let, I would give the morning ability to see everything that's available in the morning. So you guys are going to get to the park, it looks like from your itinerary, somewhere around 9 a.m. it looks like, right? Uh, 9 a.m. each day. So you're going to want to pick something, your first fast path, for somewhere around 9.15. Give yourself 15 minutes to get into the park, and then you can move forward. So here's a fast pass for Expedition Everest, which is one of the big ones. I'm not going to go into what's big and what's not. Julie can talk to you guys about that in class. But Expedition Everest, for instance, is one of the big ones you want to get a fast pass for. And then you also want to get it from maybe Cali River Rapids and Kilimanjaro Safaris. Or if you can get Avatar Passage of Flight, as you can see, is not available right now. Or Navi River Ride, those are the two big ones from the New Pandora area. But let's just say we're going to do Expedition Everest at 9.15 in the morning. And now, boom, there we go. I have a fast pass set up. For March 8th at 9.15, just pretend that says March 25th for you guys, 9.15 to 10.15, and I go ahead and I click on Confirm, which I'll cancel this later on. So I'm not gonna do that. And boom, I have a fast pass set up <clears throat> for myself. 
Now, if I want to continue on the same day, like you guys are going to want to do, because you got two more to set up, I mean, you're allowed three, you're going to want to click on this continue on same day. And then you can go ahead, you know, pick the same three people you picked previously, because if things you want to keep going, you say, yep. And you click on next. And then you're going to go ahead and from what's remaining. You know, now that you know you are 9.15, you want to go 10.15 out or longer because you're allowed one fast pass per hour and your fast pass is from 9.15 to 10.15. You can go anywhere in that time frame for that one we just set up for expedition efforts. So you're going to want to pick somewhere in the 10.30 range, which is one hour past the other one. You know, show you what time, and then maybe you want to pick, you know, Dinosaur at the 10.45. Maybe you want to pick Festival of the Lion King. I'm not going to go ahead and make this. That's why I got to cancel. But you guys get the idea. It's really that simple. I mean, really, there's not much more to it that you guys need to understand right now than that. The app and the the app that you guys are going to download. I'm going to go into here, here in one second. That'll be the final part of the video. Um, allows you to do all the same stuff. But I really would advise you guys getting on the computer. You know, get away from your phones for a minute. Get on the computer and create your account and set these fast passes up. After you do that, you'll be able to see everything that you did in the app itself as long as you log in with the same email or password that you get for this account. You'll be able to see everything that you set up in there and modify even from the phone versus having to go back to the phone. Did I miss anything with this? Yep, so I'm going to show you guys. That's a good point. I'm going to go back to Julia's account really quick so I can show you guys the friends and family thing. And Yep, here we go. Okay, I'm back in Julia's account now. So we've logged into Julia's account. I clicked on the My Disney Experience and My Reservations and Tickets. That's like your home tab because that shows you everything that you have set up, from your tickets to your, you know, your fast passes, um, to any dinner reservations you make. It's all in one tab here on the My Reservations and Tickets options. So Julia is referring to this My Family and Friends. So when you click on her family and friends. Not only does she see good old dad in there, me, but she sees her group, which she's already set up their Disney accounts. They haven't set up Fast Passes yet because they don't have the tickets yet, but she did went ahead and she set up Heather's, Lauren's, and Matt, which is going to be her group in the park. So Julia is ready to go when Heather, Lauren, and Matthew link their tickets to their profile, and she's ready to go at 7 a.m. right on February 23rd for 30 days for that first week's time. Hey guys, once again, we need, we need add a guest. Like, if I was to click add a guest here, if I was to click add a guest, I could use the ones that my dad has, or you're going to put, I'll enter their name and age. If you click that, they're going to have a title, and then they're going to have, you're going to enter their first name. Enter their middle initial, their last name. Don't have to be a middle initial. Only if it's not. Uh, if they have a suffix, you enter that, and then you enter their age. If you're done with that, it's going to show. It's going to have you put in their birthday and everything. And after that, it's going to. It's going to find them, and if they find them, it's going to be entered in there. Now, to make sure that if, like, for instance, I am the leader of my group to make all the fast passes. If you are the leader of your group. Then you need to send an email to the other person, the other people in your group, requesting that they're okay with you taking over their fast passes. And it's really easy just to put on the name and it'll say, I will use all plans for this person. You send an email and then you're in charge of their group. Yeah, so you guys in your groups talk about who's going to be your, who wants the, the weight of being the one that sets this stuff up. And it's just easier if one person in your group does it for everybody. So, so you don't want to do a group and you do want to set up your own individual uh, fast passes. You don't have to do what Julie just said here. You can actually just maybe all four of you guys be on the phone while you're actually logged into your own computers and your own profiles and just match the fast passes up that way too. But it's just usually much easier if one person does it. So, um, last thing, I'm going to go ahead and stop sharing and just talk about this. What I want you guys to do, whether you guys have an iPhone or whether you guys have um, – you know, a droid, what is that called? The droid store or whatever, app store for iPhone or the Google Play store, you know, for um, uh, 
Android users. Uh, I'm just going to do the iPhone. You're going to want to go into your app store. Ours is called, you know, the app store. And then you're going to want to search for my Disney experience. That's the app that you want to download. So my Disney, my Disney experience. And this is what it's going to look like when it comes up. You can see it right here. It's this one way at the top of my screen. Uh, yeah, it's the one with the, the Mickey, uh, Mickey ears right there. It's called My Disney Experience. I don't know if it, I zoom out. Yeah, sometimes it, sorry. There we go. My Disney Experience. Um, and you want to download that app. And then when you log in with your email and password that you set up on the Disney account you created at the start of the video here, now you're linked to that profile. And it's really that simple. So download that app, and you download that app, and you know, it'll open up and link by logging into it. And you'll have all those plans you set up on the computer now accessible to you guys on your iPhone or your Droid. Just remember that when you're at Disney and in the parks, um, you can use that app for more than just your fast passes. Yep. I mean, there's a map here, guys. Oh. Get it closer and pull back. There's a map, and it'll tell you the wait times currently right now for all the rides. And then if you click on that, it'll tell you the height restrictions, the what the ride is. And like I said, you can go through and pick what rides you want to do. And there's more than just one ride. Like, you can go through every single park on here. Yep, and then, you know, the app is more than just ride times and fast passes. You can see all your dinner reservations, if you made any. You can see where the stores are. I mean, the app is for everything. You guys know how apps are. You guys use them daily. Other than that, I think you guys are good to go. I'm coming in on Friday to take questions based on this video. And by Friday, when I'm in the classroom, you guys should have all got up in the morning early um, at 7 a.m. and set up your fast passes prior to school. Well. Maybe as soon as you get to school or, or 7 a.m., some of you guys are just leaving for school. But at 7 a.m., you guys, you know, by the time I'm in classroom around noon, hopefully you guys have already set up for your first day, which is March 25th at Animal Kingdom. You guys have got that done. If not, we can maybe quick do them right while I'm there for a few minutes. But I would try to advise having those done early in the morning of each day. Friday, February 23rd, 7 a.m. for your first day, March 25th. Saturday, February 24th at 7 a.m. for your second day, March 26th. And Sunday, February 25th at 7 a.m. for your last day, March 27th. Those represent 30 days out for each one of them. Anything we need to add? Guys, if you have any questions throughout the week or anything before Friday, please come to me because I know all this stuff too. And I will answer in the best way I can. I mean, obviously, we can't really have our phones, but... I mean, in between classes, I can help if I have to. So please come to me because I'll help you. And you can't set up fast passes until 30 days prior, which is this Friday. So yes. she won't be able to help you do that. I can help yet. you set up your fast passes, but if you need help but she can help your friends together or you need help with anything like that, let me know because you know, my, obviously mine's already done, so I know how to do it. She can also help you create your profile if you're having trouble with it, but don't do your profile on the computer. No. You set yours up on the computer. You didn't set yours up on no, the computer. No, I set mine up on the computer. So, yeah. All right, guys. You got any questions? Uh, let us know. See ya.